This episode of Basic Filmmaker is brought to you by Things That Do Things. Okay, you want to know how I render to YouTube? You asked me the question, I'm going to show you. Here you go. I had a bunch of questions on how do I render my videos out and for YouTube and Vimeo and whatever. Uh, okay, these are my settings. I This is what I use. Uh, they're painless. They always work. I don't have to mess with them. I don't worry too much about how long it takes to render something because frankly, I don't care. I go do other things. Um, but here's what I do. I have my video here. This is Premiere Pro on my timeline. I hit Control M, I believe it's Command M on the Mac, and I get this window that pops up. Well, let's take it from the top. Now, notice that it says H.264 because that's the format you render for these. Uh, it says BFM 23.976. I always shoot mine in 23.976 and on my camera, and so of course I'm gonna render it out the same I did it. Now the next thing I do is export video and export audio. Uh, this little output name here, that's the episode I was looking at 101. Well, you, when you click on that, you can, uh, it brings up a dialogue and a save box and you could tell it where to do. I always render mine to the desktop because I work off an SSD work drive and then I render to my desktop, which is also a SSD and I don't like reading and writing to the same drive. It just seems faster than me. That may be perceptual and I don't know. Here's the next thing. So you notice in the summary, it says where I'm rendering it to, that I have all these things, what my bit rate is and everything else. That, that just makes sure you're doing good things. Now down in the basic video settings, I always shoot at 1920 by 1080. Uh, as I said, I do 23.976. Uh, field order is irrelevant for my footage. Square pixels, 1.2, or excuse me, 1.0. Uh, NTSC, I shoot these in the States. I am shooting them for people in the States. I'm uploading it to Vimeo and to YouTube, and that handles that. I don't need to shoot PAL. Um, profile high, level 5.1. I think in the new version of Adobe CC Premiere, there's now a level of 5.2. I don't know what these do. These were set that way and I leave them that way because if it ain't broke, I don't fix it. So I always check the render at maximum depth. Why? Because I want the best quality I can get. And uh, I don't know, it was set that way and I render it. And again, I'm not gonna turn it off and play with it. I wonder if this changed anything. And let me uh, go and pixel peep the pixels and see if my, eh, don't have the time. It works for me, I leave it, I'm done. The bitrate settings, this is interesting. You know, you're supposed to use a variable bitrate in a two pass, but you're supposed to use eight, no six, no 12, no 16, no 15, no this, no that. Gah, um, I set it to CBR. It's a control bitrate. Uh, I set it to 16. It basically says, hey, this is what I want. I don't want you messing around and deciding. I want 16 and just go do it. Just render the thing at 16. Do it, I command you, render at 16. I don't know if a little less is better, a little more is better. If I set it to 20, I get better results, or I'd set it to eight, maybe I'll save some time. I don't care, it works. I'm not changing it. It works, they go up, they look good, done. I have the keyframe distance set at 72. Why? I don't freaking know. I've turned it off, I turned it on. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, I just leave it on because it was on, and again, it isn't broken, so I'm not fixing it. Over on the audio screen, I have the following. It's AAC. The audio codec is AAC. Uh, AAC, that's the MP4 audio that you would use. The uh, sample rate is 48,000 hertz. It's stereo. I set the audio quality to high, the bit rate to 320, precedence bit rate, whatever. Um, again, that works, it sounds good, and I don't need to mess around with it. Um, YouTube seems to like it, Vimeo seems to like it, and I don't render different videos for each one of those. I just render one and upload them. If you look at, again, at the top of this thing, um, where you see uh, BFM 23.976, I saved that preset after I got all these settings in, and that's how I want it, so every time I go into a video, I hit Control M or uh, Command M on my Mac, 
this comes up, I select that, and I go. Again, it's simple and it's fast. If you wanna set up your initial settings and you don't wanna go through and figure all this stuff out, uh, click on that drop down and go find the one for YouTube. Yours is probably gonna be 720 or 1080 or 1920 by 1080 or whatever. Um, and then you'll at least have these initial settings set. When I'm all done with that, I go ahead and uh, I use these buttons down below. Now there are two buttons here that you wanna use. Oh, let me do this first. Um, I always set use maximum rendering quality. Why? Because, uh, because I do that and it looks great. And if I turn it off, I haven't even turned it off because um, I don't have time to play with this and compare it. And will I save uh, 25 seconds or one minute or 30 minutes when I render out? I don't care. When I render out, I'm doing other things. I'm answering comments. I'm doing my emails. I'm out shooting something. I'm out getting a cup of coffee. There's a lot of things that I'm doing in my life. I'm not sitting there camping in front of the screen going, oh, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? If you're doing that, you really need to work on your multitasking. Next thing is these three buttons down here. Uh, metadata, I don't even mess with that. Um, cancel, well, you say, I don't wanna do this. I've changed my mind. Now, the other buttons are Q and export. Export's pretty simple. You hit export and it says, I got it. I'm gonna do all this stuff and now I'm gonna go render it out where you told me to render it out. And it goes out and renders it out. And when you're done, then you have a video. Q, when you hit Q, what it does, it says, hey, I'm not just gonna sit here and tie up uh, Premiere Pro. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna render this thing in the background and it runs Adobe Media Encoder. It loads your project, it loads the settings you set, and it just sits there. And you can render one, two, five, 15, whatever videos, and you just hit this button here and it goes off and renders. And it's pretty much the same thing. I go back and forth. I, it just depends what I'm doing. Now those are my settings for how I create a YouTube video. Uh, they may work for you, they may not. You may think you have better settings, use them. You may think you have worse settings, I'm not using them. You may think my bitrate should be higher or lower or whatever. Again, I don't care. I uh, render my videos out the same way every time. They look great when I get them up and uh, I don't need to change anything or tweak anything or pixel peep to see if my pixels are being changed in any way. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy. And that answers the question that I've been asked is how do I render my videos out for YouTube? Notice the title of the episode, and this video is not how you should render out your videos for YouTube. I've been asked how I do it, so I showed you how I do it. If that helps you and those settings work for you, great. Um, if they don't, uh, sorry, I wasted your time. Uh, come up with your own settings. Anyway, I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Hold on a sec. I'm, I'm muting her. Apparently I need to go check if the meat in the fridge is good because she's going to go buy some more meat and that's good for me. So um, you're going to have to wait because I like meat and we'll see you later and I'll be back.